Hi there. So in this video, we will see how to generate logs using Selenium test ng. So we are going to make use of class or test ng reporter. So this reporter class allows you to file the log that you can see within your HTML report that you generate with test ng. So first thing we will create few methods that can help us execute our test case okay so I'm going to print out test one okay now the second thing you should be doing is Right. Also, make sure to import or test ng reporter class. Now, you can add additional classes to execute, or you can just execute your current test case as is. So, simply right click on your class, run as test ng test. Okay, now it will show you the report on console, and here you will find your test one method passes first. Okay, and then test two gets ignored, and you don't see the message just here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to use log to show what happened here. So simply type in reporter dot log, and here you type in default method run. Okay, same you can have here and say second method run or if you see second method ignore you can have that as well okay and this log will appear within our HTML report so we're gonna execute this test again as test ng okay so here you see you have your test one pass and now what we're going to do is we are going to generate report so refresh your class and this should produce test output in your default suit directory click on default set and then default test.html okay here you will find your method one and it's warning message so it shows default method run okay and it ignored our second method here and the log also gets ignored which you can easily see the output log okay so whenever you want to generate log for your methods and you wish to show them on your HTML report or within your console reports all you have to do is you have to use reporter class then use reporter.log to log your error which appears in your reports. So this was a short video on how to log in your Selenium test ng class.